Now, it's getting set to be one of the most memorable party conventions in the recent history of Nigerian democracy. The 2022 National Convention of the All Progressives Congress, the event offers stakeholders and the party the opportunity of pursuing peace and healing after a period characterized by internal wranglings anchored on the party's seeming inability to manage aspirations for political positions. And Senator Mohamed Asani Musa has had a Vira run in pursuit of the national chairmanship of the All Progressive Congress, but now there's talk of an agreement for the party uh, to back the emergence of a consensus candidate. How true is this? We now turn to the distinguished senator for answers, especially to questions regarding what APC must now do to consolidate all the gains of this day in history. Uh, senator, it's good to have you with us, uh, Senator uh, Mohamed Asani Musa. Now, um, you're one of the six good APC. To have you too. Yes. It's good to have you. Now, you're one of the six APC aspirants uh, who have stepped down for Abdul Hai uh, Adamu. Now, taking a look at the impact of this decision, uh, how would you assess it? And especially on the party's uh, fortune, not only on the convention, but uh, going forward, uh, the general elections next year. Uh, thank you very much. If you look at the logo of the APC, you will see a broom tied together. And what it means is that APC is a family, and we can always surmount and overcome whatever differences we have. I pursued for the office of the national chairman with the interest of the party at heart. And I believe that my decision today uh, is also taken at heart, because I believe that the unity of the party is greater than anything, is greater than every of our ambition. And uh, that is why we decided collectively that um, Mr. President, as the leader of the party and uh, the leadership of the party for the unity of the party, we must come together and rally around Senator Abdullah Adamu and make sure that uh, uh, APC come out stronger. But how true is this um, internal democracy being practiced by the ruling party? And what do you anticipate will play out for the rest of this convention based on these developments that are happening basically every other minute? Uh, nobody has forced anyone to consensus. When you are talking about internal democracy, we believe it's where there is cohesion, there is unity. Uh, internal democracy can play out in a very, uh, very convincing way. Uh, in our case, as that of the Office of National Chairman, Mr. President have spoken, and we also rallied around ourselves and believed that, look, we are doing this thing for the interest of the party. So also all other political offices, I mean all other offices in the party, I believe that uh, they will reach consensus. And where the consensus has become very difficult, uh, the party is a democratic party. And we believe they will go to election. And whoever won, whoever emerged as the winner, the, the party will rally around that person and they will all come together to make it even more stronger. But uh, consensus is a very good thing. And I believe it's one of the ways that can create cohesion. It's one of the ways that can build the party and create unity among party members. And it's another way that we'll be able to face the 2023 election collectively. So I believe whatever, nobody is coerced to agreeing to, to, to the issue of consensus without his willingness. I did that with willingly because believing that that is the best for the interest of the party. Uh, indeed, uh, Senator uh, Sani Musa, interestingly, uh, you know, you should mention uh, this is not forced uh, anyone uh, regarding the consensus issue. But uh, since uh, that scenario is allowed on electoral party uh, matters, uh, what about those who actually oppose it? Um, don't they have a voice or shouldn't be heard in uh, matters like this? No, I have said it already. I said where consensus become very difficult, if anybody feels he has the popularity to go for the contest, the election is possible. So, uh, but uh, uh, the, the consensus is, is something that I think can calm down nerves in, uh, uh, compared to election. But I am not against anyone that feels he can go for the contest because that is true democracy. And APC practice the true democracy and I believe that there are so many offices that today people said, no, they are going for contest. 
and uh, we are at liberty as delegates to go and cast our vote for whoever we feel is the right choice for the right office. All right, so Senator Musa, now, have you weighed this from a wider context? Uh, the electorate out there, this is just an intra-party scenario, but the electorate out there are also watching this scenario play out. Uh, what impact do you think this consensus idea is having on them, and of course, uh, for the general elections next year? Yeah, when you are talking about the constituents and the electorates out there, it's a very difficult decision for somebody like me because I knew the kind of popularity, I knew the kind of followership I have. But first and foremost, the interest of the party is number one. The supremacy of the leadership, the supremacy of the party is also another thing because we all subscribe to be members and we all said we are going to abide by whatever uh, the party comes up with. So, and uh, you, if you listen to my interviews from the beginning on national TVs, I've always said it that whenever the leader of the party, who is the president of this country, for the respect of his person, for the respect of the office of Mr. President, there is nothing that he will ask of me that will be difficult for me to deliver. And my followers believe so much in that too, because we need unity in this country, not at this time. We, the, the, the party itself is, is, is at crossroads. So I wouldn't want to be one party that will also add to the issues that we already have in the party. All we want is to see how we can bring the numerous divides in the party together. We want to see a, a united party that will be able to come out and face our opposition, our opposing parties. This general election is just by the corner. In the next less than eight weeks, we start the primaries. So I don't see why my personal interest should override the collective interest of all in the party in trying to create unity. So, and I believe all others did the same. Uh, the unity of the party is more greater than our collective ambitions, our individual ambitions. So we all collectively agreed that we should unite and give Abdullah Adamu the chance so our followers, the electorals, should also believe every party has its own principles. You can see what is happening in the uh, opposition party in their so-called uh, zonal arrangements. So we don't want to fall into that kind of uh, trap. We want a situation where APC will come out strong. We are already the governing party, but we, uh, that's what the advantages that we can have. We want to come out and rally the Nigerians to support us, looking at us that we are coming as one embodiment. So this is the reason why I feel uh, the consensus can have its way. But that does not mean that those that are opposed to it will not have their say. Well, Senator, thank you so much for that. But I'd like to ask if at this point you happen to have an update for us regarding the unity list. Uh, you see, the unity list is just uh, a list to be able to give a direction of where the party believes that uh, that unity can be formed. Notwithstanding, any office that is being contested for, and if anyone emerged either from the unity list or not uh, from the unity list or out of the unity list, that does not foreclose the fact that that person have won his election. So the unity list is there for those that want to unite the party, believing that these are the team that will be able to give that unity for the party because each an individual that comes out of the unity list comes from uh, different uh, parts of this country for different offices. But notwithstanding, as I said earlier, anyone that feels that he has the popularity to win the election can go for contest. And uh, it depends. Whatever the outcome of uh, the election, be it, but for us, we want unity in APC. Indeed, uh, Senator uh, Mohammed Asani Musa, I'd like to thank you for your input on the APC National Convention, which is currently being held in Abuja. It's good to have you with us. Thank you.